reinforcement learning let's start from uh, it okay what is it um well the very first uh, step towards understanding uh, what uh, reinforcement learning is is to get how it works uh, so it is uh, the formal definition is quite complex and also technical is um, basically it's a subfield of machine learning uh, that deals with creation, let me say that, of autonomous agents. Autonomous agents means uh, agents, algorithms, programs, uh, able to choose actions, so to behave in a good way, in an optimal way. So, in this sense, um, training an agent to be good as good as a human, for example, is a really a tricky thing. Um, in order to understand it, in order to understand it, you do have to see the whole pro process. So basically, it involves two sides. One side is the agent, and the other side is the environment. You know, now it basically reproduces the very th same interaction that a human has with an environment. In our case, to make things clear, the environment is the video game itself. Okay, so we do have our agent, our algorithm, that will be interacting with the environment, with the video game. Now, of course, in order to interact with it, it sends actions to the environment. How? In this case, you see here represented a gamepad. So, gamepad is the mean by means of which you send actions to the environment, to the video games. So, those are the actions. In response, the environment provides the agent, but this is true also for the human, with the state. The state is the situation of the game at a given time. Uh, now, first clarification, we are going to use state and observation more or less like synonyms. This is not the case every, every time. It's kind of a particular let's say, difference because sometimes the state of the system cannot be uh, completely observable. In that case, the observation you have of the system is not exactly the state is a subset of states is a subset of information provided by the in by the state so is a subset of the things you can know about the state in our case uh, don't worry about that state and observation are more or less the same thing and so we will be referring to state and observation has synonyms there is one other thing that the environment provides as, the, as a feedback to the agent and this is the so-called reward what is the reward the reward is something that basically tell the agent if it is it is behaving in a good way meaning it is if it is achieving the goal or if it is behaving in a wrong way actually this is something that is provided to the user the standard human gamer too you know whenever you got killed you received a bad reward you uh, you know you you received something that told you okay you did something wrong there you need to improve in that specific aspect in that particular occasion you are not so good so this is something that we also receive as human players in case in the case of reinforcement learning you do have to receive that reward in a more explicit way because that is the signal you will use to improve to improve you algorithm you need that reward feedback in order to improve in order to understand if you're performing well or not so now um, uh, this is the entire picture of a, an agent uh, interfaced with an environment in a re RL reinforcement learning setting, you know, so the agent is performing actions Sending those actions to the environment that is answering with the state and a reward 
Now uh, I added another another graphic here on this on this very image because you will understand that in the coming sessions. Uh, so basically, what you will see in the Umbra is something with this additional information. So in this case, this is something that adds nothing to what we already said. It is just something that wants to convey that what the environment uh, does is um, decided by the scripted uh, behavior of the charter. So when you are playing something against the PC, when uh, you are not playing in uh, multiplayer, when you are on single player, basically you can think as the game as being uh, played by the computer. So you are facing an opponent that is the computer in some sense. You can see this COM opponent inside, embedded inside the environment. Now, this is what you will become familiar with in the Umbra. And I will show you how in a, a few slides. So yes, this is the basic scheme. And now let's clear one thing right away.